Hare Krishna. More important than the study of matter is the study of what matters. We live in a world of science and technology which has given us enormous power to control the outer world and shape it to our will and desire to an extent far greater than a few centuries ago. This knowledge is very powerful and this knowledge is primarily based on the study of matter, how it functions, how it interacts and how we can affect its interactions according to our will. And this study is important. But even more important than the study of matter is the study of what matters. What is really important? What counts in life? That study is even more important. Now we might get a machine gun by our study of matter. We might get an automatic pistol by, uh, a uh, by our study of matter. But for what purpose to use it? Do we use it to protect the innocent or do we use it to kill the innocent? The study of what matters, what is really important in life, that is the most important study. And unfortunately, that study has been neglected in today's world. We, in, we have got so enamored with the study of matter that the study of anything enduring, that study of that which is truly valuable, that which is truly enduring, we tend to have, we have neglected that. We have forgotten that. And that's why we have the tragedy such as, as is expressed by Martin Luther King famously when he said, we have guided missiles and misguided men. So we have the study of matter, but we don't have a proper study of what matters. Now, when there is not a proper study of what matters, different people start taking up something which they consider as important to be all important. And then when we become obsessed in that, this way, that leads to sectarianism and violence. Say as one group of people start thinking that their group's interest is all important. And they start reducing the whole world to uh, who is supporting our group and who is opposing our group. And in that way, uh, they may cause great destruction to those whom they perceive as opponents. And so if, if we don't study what matters, then uh, our, without our thought, conscious thought, uh, we will decide something which doesn't really matter as something that matters. And thus our endeavors will get misdirected. Such misdirected knowledge is knowledge in the mode of ignorance as Bhagavad Gita says in 18.22. So, when we make one thing into everything without considering the whole picture of what, how things are, that is knowledge in the mode of ignorance. That means it is knowledge, but it increases our ignorance. It does not decrease our ignorance. So we can study matter, but we need due time to study what matters. And that study, the study of values, a study of life's ultimate purposes, that is the study given in wisdom texts such as the Bhagavad Gita. When we learn what matters, then we will learn how to use matter the best. Thank you. Hare Krishna.